Hello and welcome back artists and designers. We are going to dive into the second page here and learn all about typing on a path and some of the cool things we can do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this current layer here and work on a fresh one. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is to create a path to actually type on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a path right here. I'm going to grab my pen tool and you could really do this with anything. Uh, the color uh, of it doesn't really matter. However, I'm going to make the um, the stroke white and the fill nothing. But what you're going to find out that happens is the stroke is going to disappear as soon as we start typing on it. So if I take the pen tool and take and just make a little wavy line here, a couple anchor points, you can kind of see I have this wavy line and I have that. And I want to type along that. And of course, you can edit it, do kind of whatever you want. But let's say I have this and I'm ready to go and type on it. So I'm going to go over here to the text tool and click on that. And wherever you click, that's going to be your starting point. So if I were to click here, that's going to be my starting point. If I click here, that's going to be my starting point. So if I want to start it on the end, I'm going to go ahead right to that first anchor point of my path. And I'm going to click. You can see my anchor, my uh, cursor changes. Click. And it's immediately going to fill in with some text right there. And let's go ahead and make that a different color so that we can actually see it. Uh, let's do like a nice bright. Now we'll do like a bright green. There we go. Make that a little bit bigger so that we can kind of see. So you got all your text that's kind of working its way along that line, which is is pretty nice. Uh, now I just made it bigger so that you can see the plus symbol, like a text box is showing me, hey, you got more text than uh, will fit in here. I'm going to go ahead and write something in here. I'm going to write home of the... Cowboys for Canyon, and there we go. I can select that, make that a little bit bigger here. Let's go to, oh, well, let's go all the way up to 60. All right, there we go. Now, this works kind of the same way that a paragraph might in, uh, you know, a Google Doc or something else like that. So right now it's center aligned, but if I hit left, that was where I clicked to start my text. So it's going to align to that area. And then by default, it's going to follow the whole length of the path. So if I hit right align or right justify, it's going to put it all the way over to the end of the path. And if I hit center, it's going to be in that center point. And there are actually little bars there, if you can see them. So I've got a bar here. I could adjust my start point of my text. I could adjust the end point of the text. And depending on that, if I have it centered, that is then going to adjust where the center point is of the text as well. So you can kind of manipulate and move those around and we're going to investigate those a little bit more in the next step. Um, you can also try and grab, and I will tell you right now, these are a little finicky. They're a little tough to use sometimes. So if you get frustrated, just be careful and try to avoid clicking on the white box right here. Cause if you click on that, um, a lot of times what it thinks you want to do, if there's text there, yeah, it thinks you want to continue that text on. So it kind of loads up and makes your cursor look like this because it thinks you want to like continue text from here into another area or onto another line. So you can do that and it's kind of cool, um, but you want to be careful because uh, that's typically not what we're going to do here. So just avoid the little white box. Try to grab the line if you're moving those around. Um, okay, so you can also go to the center point and if you carefully drag that down, you'll see that you can flip the text under the line and above the line. So you can have some fun that way. So I'm going to bring that back up. You can continue to manipulate your line. So if I click the white arrow, the direct selection tool, I can still move and tweak this line to my enjoyment here, to what I need to have done, enjoyment. I don't know if that's the right word, but I can tweak it to get it kind of where I need it to be. Um, so you can keep manipulating the line, which is kind of fun. So you got that. Uh, and you can do that with any given line. I mean, I could do a straight kind of angular line. This would look really funky. But if I go up and let's copy this text so I don't have to retype it. So just double click, triple click, copy, and then go down to this line, which I think just disappeared on me here because I didn't put a stroke or a fill. Can I find it? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's over here somewhere. So for example, if I click here, it's going to start there. It's going to start on that area if I want to adjust that. I'm going to have to go in here and move and go, oh, no, I wanted it to start back here. And you can kind of see how that works out. So that'll look really funky, but you could do it on that sort of line. Okay, so we got that. Type in on the path. You can make any sort of path you want, type along it, and see how it works. Let's move on to uh, typing 
um, with a circle here. So let's say I have a circle and I have this circle here and I want to type around the outer edge of it. So I want to go over something with you. I don't particularly use this much, but if you had a whole block of text that you wanted to use in here. Um, if I click on the text tool and I try to do the same thing I did before, it's not going to work. It's, it looks like it's going to work and then I click and then it just puts my text inside of that, that box right there. So it's going pretty big. So if I make this a little smaller, you can see it's trying to actually put that text inside of here. So if I copied that and pasted it, you know, a bunch of times, you could see that it would kind of fill the shape of that circle. Um, so it is kind of a cool thing uh, that you can fill those shapes, but that's not particularly what we're doing um, unless you were trying to do that for some reason. So let's figure out how to type on a circle. I'm going to grab my circle here, and I use this all the time as a graph designer. Uh, people want to have something on the top of the circle, and then they want to have something on the bottom of the circle, and they want to get it all set up properly. So I'm going to grab my text tool, but this time I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to choose this one, type on a path. So I'm going to click that right here. And now when I click on this, I can click on that anchor point. And I do like to, again, pick the starting point. So if I click here, I know that my text is going to start here um, and work its way around. So I like to start on this one. And again, the text is going to fill up on there. And I'm going to type in home of the, oops, of the Cowboys. Right there, I'm going to select that. I'm going to make that a color we can actually see. Let's just go with white for now, simplicity's sake. Crank this up a bit. There we go. So now I have that, but the problem is it's lining up over on that side. Uh, if I hit left justify, that's going to move it to where I started. Right justify is going to move it all the way around to the end point. So by default, my starting and ending points start here, wraps all the way around, and it ends up on the other side. So what I want to do, I'm going to keep it centered. And I'm going to move this the way that I would probably do this is grab this line. Here it is, my endpoint. And I'm going to drag that all the way around over to the other side right there. And so now it starts here, wraps around and ends here. And because I have chosen center align, it lines it to the center of the circle, which is super helpful to me. So that is a really good base way to get started on that. And now I am going to show you another little secret menu that you can use for this. Because uh, I'm going to want a, another circle. I'm going to hold down Alt and duplicate it. And I'm going to want um, the same circle, but I'm going to want it underneath. And so I want it to go this way. If I just try to move these around, um, which I could do, I could try to spin them around this way and get it lined up this way. But now my text is upside down. And I could do that thing where I move it in like this. And that gets me close there. But the problem is now I have two different size circles because this is outside the line. This is inside the line. Things get funky. So I'm going to show you an alternative for that that's a little bit easier. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to show you a little secret menu here. If I double click over on the text tool, so I double click, you get some extra options here. Type on a path options. And I'm going to check preview first. And if you take a look at this first one, if I check flip, you can see, oh, it flips it. It does what I would do if I went over and dragged this down. So it puts it on the inside. So that's helpful. Um, one of the first things that I do is the align to path. So by default, it puts the bottom of the text on the path, the baseline of the text. I personally like to do center because that keeps the center of my text on here. So when I flip it to the other side, I can keep that same size circle, whether it's you know kind of inside or outside, the direction is not going to matter. So I use this one a little uh, bit more often. Uh, so you can check these other things out. I don't particularly use these too much, but these are all different features that you can kind of do uh, with the text and you know kind of explore different things. Typically, I use the, the rainbow one, and I just kind of keep it there. Uh, so I'm going to hit OK on that. So i got that set up right now. And again, to get there, you just double click on that menu. So now I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to get a copy. Uh, I could try to rotate this around and move these, but I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm going to go to the corner of my square, uh, or the bounding box. I get that curved arrow. And I'm just going to spin my entire shape with my text in it. And if you hold down Shift, it's going to lock into those 45 degree increments. So there's 180 degrees. 
I got that the other way. I can kind of line that right up here. I can use my alignment, my alignment to uh, get that all nice and precise. So let's grab both of those circles, go down to my alignment, align, align, and there we go, nice and perfectly centered. So all I need to do is flip this. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to double click on my secret menu, and I'm going to hit the flip option. And boom, there we go. It now has that lined up perfectly on the center. I can hit OK. I could take this top one if I wanted to have that say something different, uh, like Canyon. Oops, spell it right. Canyon Cowboys. There we go. Maybe I want to make that part a little bit bigger, or I want to increase the tracking on this just to spread this out a little bit. I could do that. Do the same thing down below here. Oops, click into this one. Maybe expand that tracking a little bit too. And there we go. You know, with a little bit, I get a nice little um, simple design there. I could click my star tool, find the center point, hold down Alt and Option, throw a star in there, um, you know, add another circle around the outer edge, and I am already becoming a graphic designer. Flip that to stroke, make it a little bit thicker. Kind of have almost like the uh, Chuck Taylor's logo right there. Pretty easy to do. So really, really powerful option of uh, Illustrator is being able to type on those paths, especially the circular path. I use it all the time as a graphic designer. It's a really fun technique to use. Takes a little bit of uh, getting used to with these start and end bars and you know rotating the text around and getting it all lined up on there. But once you get the hang of it, it's great. So go ahead and have some fun, make some paths, uh, try some different things. You can type on any shape that you want. I mean, you could do this on the star. If I click this text tool, click on the star, it's going to be able to put text on the star, all kinds of stuff. So go explore, have some fun, see what you can create here, and uh, I will see you in the next video.